you very much. You know, it's been more than a decade since we raised the cigarette tax. And as he mentioned, the other tobacco product tax has never been increased. Our smoking rates, and as he mentioned, our related costs are on the rise. It's time for Ohio to turn our numbers around. Tobacco use, as he also mentioned, is the single largest preventable cause of disease and premature death. Increasing tobacco taxes is one of most, the most effective ways to reduce smoking rates and improve the health of Ohio. <coughs> we encourage the General Assembly to follow Governor Kasich's lead and make reducing Ohio's tobacco burden a top priority as they consider Ohio's next budget. So we'd like to take any questions at this point that you might have. First time on for Channel 6 News, the question could be for all of you, but especially for the doctor on your left. And if you want to answer from the podium, that would be great. If you could say just one thing to a smoker who opposes this proposed tax, what would you say? Say one thing to a smoker who's, who's against... Oh, I would say you're not helping yourself. That's what I would say. I mean, what we're trying to do is to take that smoker and provide them with the tools they need, which is not just an increase in the price of tobacco, but also, as you know, the money is going towards uh, reducing, going to the policies and procedures and help them reduce the use of tobacco. So I'd say by voting against it, you're really not helping yourself. You lose a minute of your life for every cigarette you smoke. And if I can increase the price of the cigarettes and make that a financial burden on you and provide you with the methodology to uh, re you know, reduce the addictive component of your behavior, which we can do and which the money will be used for, I'm doing you a big favor because you're going to have a better quality of life and you're going to live longer. Can you talk about that a little bit more? What, what is it about saving money that can overcome an addiction? If you're addicted to this, what is it about saving money that can get you to actually quit using the product? Well, the money that we're saving is being used um, to help people um, using the various methodologies that people who study smoking reduction, right? Just people who study addiction, uh, people who study how to get people off of smoking cigarettes or, or chewing tobacco. The money's being used for those classes, those studies that will in fact help that person reduce consumption of tobacco. So it's not stop smoking, make money. It's the tax goes to support the policies and the procedures that in fact help that smoker reduce their consumption of tobacco, which in turn will help us uh, save money. So that's, a, that's, that's the key, is that we need more dollars to put forth into these smoking cessation efforts. Uh, programs to reduce, you can say a hotline, um, studying the biochemistry of addiction, um, you know, classes for smoking, et cetera, that I'm not an expert in, but that we have, for example, in our College of Public Health at OSU, we have smoking cessation classes for those on campus. They cost money. So we use the money from the tobacco uh, tax to fund those programs so that when I say I just can't quit, see a physician, see a psychologist, take the classes, you know, al alterations in your behavior to, to help you quit. Add something? Yeah. Um, also, you know, we can make it easier or harder for people to stop smoking. And every time we do something policy-wise, like, for instance, pass a smoke-free law, or pass a tax, or have a um, type, a media, a media type um, commercial, commercials out there, like the Tips from a Smoker campaign, that helps people stop smoking. You can look at the quitline data from Ohio, and you can see spikes in the number of callers who call there to try to quit every time we do something policy-wise, or every time we do something program-wise. So that's the type of things we need to be doing in Ohio to support smokers who want to quit. And we know from looking at the Ohio Department of Health surveys that 80% of smokers want to quit. They're not smoking because they enjoy smoking. They're smoking because they're addicted. And they're looking for assistance in helping to quit. So these policy provisions that he has are things that 
help these smokers in their attempt to quit. Do you feel there's a lot of money in the budget for the cessation program that they were making? Are you happy with what's in there for cessation? Well, as public health organizations, we always want more. <laughs> <laughs> um, so certainly, we're not going to turn down more money. Um, you know, because the more programs you have, the more people you're going to see um, stop smoking, the more kids you're going to see not start. But certainly, we are, are overwhelmingly happy with the package that Governor Kasich has put through because uh, definitely we're going to see kids not start smoking, and we're going to see smokers quit. One, uh, I just said, 